Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this kind of animation. It could be a nice logo intro. So, to do this we need a new composition, name it logo, make it full HD with 25 frames per second. We'll need a new solid layer as background, make it composition side and choose whatever color you want. Let's lock it so we could not touch it anymore. Let's create the text we want to display. Align it, center it. If you don't have that box, you always can find it here. And now we have to start creating the lines that at the end will uh, will make that nice animation uh, take your time doing this but uh, you don't have to do it perfect uh, even if you make them look not very well you can always adjust it this way so I suppose you know how to do this uh, that's why I will speed up a little this process because uh, we don't have to make this tutorial too long uh, as I have told you be creative and make them look uh, as good as you want you can start from different points of the screen this will make a better random uh, animation at the end now when we have this all of this uh, we have to select all the shape layers and put in this box right line cap select all these uh, attributes keeping shift button pressed And after we finish selecting them, choose from the we'll have to choose from the drop down round cap. So this will make the lines a little softer, as you can see. Okay, uh, deselect the text and the first shape layer. Let's hide the other layers to make easier working on this project. We'll only need one shape layer for the start. Uh, turn this down. Okay, let's add the animation, trim pads, it's called. Uh, let's put the time selector here and create uh, some keyframes for the start and end of the lines so now as you can see we have the end keyframe at 100% we'll need to add uh, the start of it at 0% make it 0% we'll have to uh, change the keyframe for the start too let's make it I don't know 14, 8, 6, do it by yourself, you, it can be, it can have different values, depends on your, uh, on your lines. Uh, okay, now let's create the finishing of the animation and draw this start and end keyframes to 100%, both of them, select all of them all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and easy is to create a better uh, a better animation and using this graphics we can adjust this as we want play with these graphics to create a smoother and uh, a better animation of your lines uh, try it by yourself is not uh, something very difficult 
and let's see what we have as you can see the line the first line it's already uh, already animated and it looks it looks quite okay you select that okay so now let's select dream pad click J to go to the first frame sorry it wasn't the first frame click again J now select all the keyframes and uh, control C to copy them and hide all the other shape layers and select each of them and click Control V to paste those keyframes we already have created for the first line and give to the other lines the same animation. So this is very very uh, quick method to do this. Okay, let's hide the text and see what we have. As you can see, our animation is almost ready and it looks okay. Let's make it a, uh, look a little better, adding some transparency to the text. To this point make it uh, click T to, to open the opacity and uh, keyframe it with 100%, go in this point and keyframe it with 0%, okay, in this point we need to create a new keyframe with 100% and starting here we'll go to 0%, let's find the last frame with the lines it's here okay and put it to 0% like this it will fade in and fade out very small so we uh, also can uh, add motion blur to make a better animation now we can select all these shapes and pre-compose them. Let's call them, I don't know, text lines. Move all the attributes into the new composition and hit OK. Uh, hit Control D to du duplicate this composition. Name it text line 2 move it a little on, a ti on the timeline and let's apply an effect a fill effect to give it a new color you can use any color you want I will choose this green for example it looks nice and let's see what we have so this was our animation for today, I hope it was useful for you. Don't forget to click the like button under this video and of course to subscribe to my channel to receive more After Effects tutorials. See you next time.